All right, I want to talk about structuring our web page. So we talked about using these, I, these divs with IDs to set pieces of our page apart. And this is done very often. Um, so let me do something here. I want to make a little subtitle up here. Um, at Geiger's web page, let's do an H4. All about the legend. I'm being facetious here. I'm not a legend, but let's pretend I am. Refresh it. Ooh, I didn't want that there. I wanted that to be the subtitle for Matt Geiger's web page. So I want to group these two things together. So let's do that. And I'm just going to make a div here. And I'm going to put both of these things inside that div. Now let me format it a little bit. Oops, didn't want to do that. There's my div, there's my H4. Um, and let's give this an ID. Of header because this is the header for my page now this is where I told you in earlier videos we use the word head a lot uh, we have a head section on our web page we have these h1s h2s h3s which are headings okay and we also often have a header to our web page just like you'd have a, a header section on a newspaper or magazine but we're making a structure to our web page here and now since I have these two things together, maybe I should come back over here and say cuz I gave that an ID of header um and maybe I don't want to specify the font anymore, the font size. We'll let that go. just do the font family oh that wasn't what I wanted e equals here there we go um, I hadn't saved my page yet so instead of doing this to my h1 I did it to my header section so it applied it to this h1 and and the h4 let's add in line height to em a little better we're gonna go with that okay so I have a header section um, let's do we have an about section I don't want to do just the about section here let's get rid of let's move this let's call this my main part of my page ID equals main I am going to surround more than just that. I'm going to surround everything down to hobbies as the main section of my page. So we have our div. Now this stuff in here all needs indented to clean it up. So I have this big giant div that's holding the main content of my page, oops, the main content of my page. So I have a header section on my page, I have a main content section on my page, and I can apply styles to that if I want to. And this down here, let's give it a div too. Um, I'll just move my ending tag down below that.
and we'll give this an ID a footer and I can come over to my CSS and I can make styles for my main section and my footer section but I have my page structured now I have I have a container for the main part of my page I have a container for the header part of my page and I have a container for the footer part of my page so I'm keeping things organized and I'm giving each of the things an ID and these IDs will come in handy later and we do this so often that a few years ago they changed the HTML standards made some of these things a standard with something called the semantic web. We'll talk about that in the next video.